Hello everyone, I'm Father Andrew. It's uh, lovely to see you again and listen together uh, today's Holy Gospel. Uh, today, June 24th, is uh, the anniversary of St. John the Baptist, the foreigner of uh, Jesus. So it's so beautiful, isn't it? And uh, we remember and we pray uh, in the name of St. John the Baptist, how he loved uh, Jesus Christ and followed him as well as he prepared the way which Jesus Christ came through this beautiful way or the road. Um, so today's Holy Gospel is Luke chapter 1 verse 5 to 17. Why not? If possible, please check your Bible. Uh, this chapter uh, tells us about John the Baptist, uh, his uh, birth story. So how beautiful, how uh, gracious anyway, uh, we have a beautiful saint, Saint John the Baptist. Historic references show how old and deep-rooted the respect for John the Baptist is. His role in relation to Jesus is evident in the Gospels. This Gospel of St. Luke speaks uh, about John's birth, life in the wilderness, and preaching. And the Holy Gospel of Mark speaks of his uh, dramatic death. John the Baptist was not just teaching repentance, but recognized that Jesus is the Lamb of God who came to get rid of the sins of the world. He accepted Jesus as the one sent by God and put Jesus in front of him so the people could hear and follow his word and himself. He had a deep humility to step out. And I wonder what gave birth to this powerful, straightforward, unified inner world that was devoted entirely to God, providing a way for this life, Jesus. The answer is simple. It originated in a relationship with God, prayer. Prayer has led him through the adult life. John was the gift of God that Zachariah and Elizabeth prayed for many years. The whole life of Jesus, pioneer life, was enriched by his relationship with God, especially in the wilderness. The wilderness is a place of temptation, but it is also a place where humans perceive their poverty. So John the Baptist could meet every day God in the wilderness. This is because by placing the material spot and safety in a completely deprived environment, only God is the only consistent human center. However, John the Baptist was not only a man of prayer who continued to have a relation with God, but he also led to this relationship with God. My dear brothers and sisters, John the Baptist gave us his beautiful and powerful example with Jesus Christ, especially with God Father in a wilderness. We too continually ask in the name of Jesus Christ the grace which comes from the bounty of the Holy Spirit. As well as we continually pray together in the name of Jesus Christ for the intercession of Saint John the Baptist. So with this blessing, may we have a beautiful and powerful 
and a happiness day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.